Hi, I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr, and you're watching iRide.net. It's time to check out the new for 2010 Can-Am Spider RT lineup. This is the latest evolution and generation of the Can-Am Spider, and simply stated, when compared to the current RS models, the RT features a more relaxed cruiser-style riding position, and it's simple to say it's designed for touring and comfort and includes a number of noteworthy features. Allow me to say this right up front. The Can-Am Spiders are not motorcycles, they're trikes. Yes, we all know that motorcycles have two wheels and trikes. Well, obviously, they have three wheels. But unlike what many consider to be a traditional trike, the Spider has grabbed a lot of attention over the past few years, as instead of having the two wheels on the rear of the vehicle, the two wheels are placed in the front of the trike. That alone is enough to separate it from the trike conversions that have been available for many years. There are three models in the Spider RT lineup, as well as a special limited edition. It kicks off with the Spider RT. Let's take a moment and go through the stock features of this model. First, the RT base model will only be available in one color, Full Moon Silver and it's only available with the manual 5-speed gearbox. It's powered by a liquid-cooled Rotax 991 V-twin engine which delivers up to 100 horsepower and 80 foot-pounds of torque. One of the most asked about features for any touring machine is the storage capacity. Well, the Spider RT features multiple storage compartments for a total of 155 liters of cargo space. Compared to the Honda Goldwing, which incorporates 147 liters of storage space, well, as you can see, the Spider is now the new leader in the storage space arena. The storage can be increased by 622 liters with the addition of the matching trailer. All combined, that will give you more storage space than some automobiles. In terms of the braking system, unlike a typical motorcycle or even some trikes, there's only one control, the foot brake. It uses a linked braking system with ABS. The front brakes use four piston calipers and the rear brake uses a single piston caliper and an electronic brake distribution system is used to balance the braking for smooth controlled stopping power. It also incorporates an electromechanical parking brake system with an actuator on the rear caliper. One of the unique features of the Spider is the VSS or the Vehicle Stability System. Per Can-Am, the Y architecture of the Spider allows for the design of an integrated vehicle stability system that reduces the risk of losing control. Integrated into the VSS is SCS, the Stability Control System, TCS, the traction control system, and of course, ABS, the anti-lock braking system. And yes, the brakes are calibrated to accommodate the optional factory trailer. Now, a very desirable feature that is new for the Spider is the electric windshield. This uses a toggle button on the left grip to raise or lower the shield. It also includes driver wind deflectors to channel air towards or away from the rider. Other features include electronic cruise control, heated handlebar grips, adjustable passenger floorboards, passenger armrest, and a 12-volt power socket in the rear top cargo area. Since the Spider RT has a dry weight of 929 pounds, it incorporates yet another acronym. This one is DPS, Dynamic Power Steering. DPS provides a computer programmed variable assist that adjusts the amount of steering effort required according to the speed, load, and torque. Per Can-Am, this optimizes steering effort and improves handlebar comfort even at low speeds. Considering that the total vehicle load is 525 pounds, having power steering is a good thing. The multifunction gauge cluster is a full-color dashboard unit 
that displays pertinent vehicle and entertainment information. Now here's another one, RECC. Now this is the Roadster Electronic Command Center. Well basically, this is the cluster of buttons on the left side grip that allows for the controlling of multiple functions. The buttons are LED illuminated for nighttime use as well as are designed to be operated with riding gloves. Now here's the rest of the specifications. Now let's hold on just a second and let's check out this 30.4 inch seat height. Now I'm not a big guy and my feet, well they wouldn't be able to hit the ground from that height. My previous bike had a 26.5 inch seat height and that worked for me pretty well. Now that's one of the benefits of the trike is there's no need to place your feet on the ground as when you come to a stop it's perfectly balanced. And when you need to back up into a space, yes, it does have a reverse gear that's activated by pressing a button on the left grip and depending on the transmission, selecting reverse with either your hand or your left foot. The Spider RT includes a two-year factory warranty and extended warranties are available from Can-Am dealers. The manufacturer's suggested retail price of the Spider RT is $21,000. For more information on the Spider models, just go to iRide.net. Next up is the Spider RT Audio and Convenience model. This model is available in two separate color schemes. The first is Full Moon Silver, and the second is Orbital Blue. It includes all the features of the RT, but adds an AM FM integrated audio system with handlebar mounted controls, two front speakers, and speed compensating volume. To add more tunes to your ride, it also includes iPod integration in the rear top cargo with a full featured handlebar control. This model also allows for the addition of the optional semi-automatic transmission that eliminates the need of a manual clutch and allows for convenient shifting with the press of either an up or down shift button. For comfort purposes, the passenger grips are heated and can be controlled by the integrated switches. This is something the passenger will surely appreciate on those cooler rides. Also included on the Spider RT audio and convenience model is an electric front cargo release. The manufacturer's suggested retail price of the Spider RT audio and convenience model is $23,000. The third model of the RT lineup is the RTS. This model is available in two color schemes, Orbital Blue or Timeless Black. This model includes all the features of the RT Audio and Convenience model, but adds a 3.5 millimeter audio player input that's located in the rear top cargo area, as well as the volume for the audio output is controlled by the handlebar volume switch. Two additional speakers are also included on this model. They're located in the rear area right next to the passenger. It also has a grab rail mounted passenger audio control. This way the passenger has full control on the audio volume. Also added to this model are fog lamps, five LED accent lighting, a front cargo light, as well as a liner for the front cargo area and a travel cover. Now here's something that any tour rider will surely appreciate. The RTS includes a remote adjustable rear suspension with controls that are easily accessible by the rider. This allows the rider to easily adjust the rear suspension to tune in a ride that's faced on the road conditions, the current load, or just personal preference. Special edition trim is also included on this model. The manufacturer's suggested retail price of the Spider RTS is $25,000. So that's it for iRide's first video on the Spider RT series. For more information, just go to iRide.net. For iRide.net, I'm the Gadget Guru Andy Parr, and I'll see you on the road and online.